What is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. We've got a bunch of new parts in. I'm gonna get all these parts back into the barn and I will show you exactly what we have in just a minute here. But it's like Christmas. We ordered in tons of stuff so we can have a really busy, action-packed week for you guys. And I think you guys are gonna really love all the stuff that we have coming up. So, stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a fat thumbs up before you scroll down to that comment section and leave your comments. And I will catch you guys here in just a bit. Hope I got some brothers that I live me. Ain't gon' tell the story, she was different with me. God's plan, God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't man. I feel good when I'm alone, hey. Leave me in the studio, hey, boy. Daily self-discovery, yeah, man. Holiday recovery, wait, wait. They love them instead of me. Still. Well, we are about two hours into it, I would guess, and not two hours because it needed to be two hours, but two hours because I've got a pounding headache and everything is more difficult when you're working with your head down in the engine bay. So, I've got the oil feed line hooked up, oil drain hooked up, intake part down there going in from the intercooler, um, piping kits going into that turbo there. Um, let's see, everything's snug, everything's tight. I think we should be pretty much good to go to move on to the next part. The bolts are all tightened down as snug as I could get them. I think we're all pretty good. So the next step is just going to be, of course, getting the piping kit hooked back up that goes exhaust side to exhaust side and then hooking up the intake part. And I'm still contemplating what to do with this because do I need this lower support? Probably not. That turbo is sitting all by itself in there, pre-mounted up from the bottom. He has something on the bottom of that thing too that he fabricated to hold it sturdy. I mean, he like way overbuilt the stability um, parts for that turbo to make sure it's sat there real nice. Let me get this all by itself so you can kind of see what we're looking at here. But anyways, this thing, for the most part, it sits in the truck like this, okay? So he's got this bracket down there that goes inside of the block, that mount right there that goes to the manifold, that goes to the exhaust light on the big turbo, the T3B turbo, and then that goes on the back side of the HX35. So as you can see, everything is all pretty much, I mean, it's thought out to be overbuilt, but I don't know if it's actually necessary for this lower support, especially since this top one is kind of, if you ask me, is plenty because this top one pulls, after these are all bolted into the turbo, this top one pulls and ties that turbo, pulls the weight off of anything else that it might be supporting that, and it ties it right into the manifold, tying up to the center point of the engine bay, um, to, the, to the actual engine itself. So I honestly don't think there's really any major purpose for this lower one other than just being, you know, Overkill. What we're gonna do really quick is we're gonna actually try to install it just like this. If it's too much of a pain in the butt, I'm just gonna cut this right here because it's honestly not necessary. And then uh, just install it, you know, with just this bracket here tying it all into the. Because I really, I mean, honestly, let's be honest, it is just overbuilt. And this is not like a factory kit. You can see how we tried to weld that all up there. It's not a factory kit that somebody, you know, just bought off the shelf and uh, not factory. I mean, it's not an aftermarket kit that somebody just bought off the shelf that, you know, some manufacturer thought out every little tiny thing and made it, you know, simple yet reliable. This was just something he made all of, you know, on his own. So we're going to try fitting this into the engine bay and uh, just see what happens. Okay, so here we go. I cut that lower support off because, guys, we do not need it. I'm telling you, we just do not need it. So we're gonna get this fitted down in here. Look how much easier that went. Here we go, here we go. Right there. And that is how it's gonna tie together. Right there. So look how much easier that went in. I'm telling you guys, that lower support is cool, but it really was not necessary. And this bracket right here, 
pulling this big turbo and tying it up to the block towards the block with these four big bolts in here more than enough i'm telling you it is more than stable and you shouldn't have any issues <laughs> think we are officially good we got the HX 35 mounted back up in there we got everything tied back together all the boots all the clamps we did decide to go ahead and remove that lower support that goes down there and I kid you not like I tried to mess with that for a few minutes just trying to wiggle it down in there and like it's like almost mission impossible I don't know how he got it down in there um, but it was not easy and so I just cut it off and we just have this one support going across here, which was so much easier to install. And that pipe just sat down right in there, bolted up, and was done. I mean, quick as quick and easy as can be. I got this one feed line here zip tied out of the way, just because it was kind of in the way, just kind of laying over top of the um, clamps and stuff here. So it's kind of in the way, and some little sharp edges on here kind of kind of cut you a little bit. So I moved that all out of the way. Everything's tied up. These are all tightened. I mean, just everything's good, I think. So, we're gonna give the truck a start and uh, we're gonna roll it out of here and just listen to make sure there's no like exhaust leaks or anything. But um, we should be, hopefully, hopefully we're good. And then in a couple, couple days here, I'm going out of town, but in a couple days here, we're gonna get back and do a first drive. I'm not gonna be able to do it tonight. We got the truck pulled out of the barn and guys so far so good we haven't ran it down the road yet but i did pull it out of the barn i had it idling i didn't hear any ticking or weird sounds and at idle it didn't do too much with the sound that we were looking for but i'm saying like in terms of exhaust leaks and stuff like that like nasty red when i installed you know uh, some gaskets wrong um basically i had an exhaust leak and even at idle you heard tick 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 and that was just from you know doing that so i'm saying at least on that terms of, in that side of things we should be good up to this point now we are going to wait until there's actual daylight to take this on a first drive so you guys can actually hear in the cab and going down the street that the truck does run good and solid and um, that everything's back to the way it should be actually I guarantee you the trucks gonna run better since it's got a new turbo versus that old wore out HX 35 it would blow your mind how just in a new turbo or just a rebuilt turbo can just completely change the you know the output of the power on a truck like this especially low end um compared from a bad turbo small turbo to a good small turbo just a huge huge difference this guys that is going to put a wrap on this video no hat lnp for this one but anyways guys do not forget to enter to win this truck you guys are down to what do they have like two and a half weeks left three two i think two weeks left by the time they see this video yeah i think you guys have about two weeks left maybe two and a half tops but it ends july 14th so check your calendars ends july 14th but enter to win this truck. It's as easy as going to the website, link in the description, pick out some of your favorite items. Every $15 you spend gets you another automatic entry to win this beautiful, beautiful 1997 short bed extended cab 12 valve Cummins compound turbo. This truck is supposedly on paper, the guy said he had dynoed at 600-ish horsepower. So beautiful truck, runs good, drives good, and just goes down the road with ease. I mean, it is just a blast to drive. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, guys, enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. 
join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next uploads. We've got a lot of stuff coming at you. Peace.